shut the hell up. I'm saying that guy. You pick whoever beats He'll pick you. you. I know he'll pick you. And I would probably win against him. If he picked you, you would probably win against him. I know, but I'm telling you, if he had to choose, he would pick you. I think so. I know so. Well, we can't let him win. We need to be the first father-daughter team. I'm gonna be pissed if I'm freaking third in this game. Well, we need to win. Talk about the Janelle of the season, I'll be curious. Well, I'm saying he wouldn't put both of us up against each other. And whoever's out has the vote. I know. If she she gets it, you're in, I'm out. If she what? Gets POV. If she wins POV, we're both up. She gets the vote. She's going to vote for you, not me. Not necessarily. I don't know about that because she's gonna be thinking a lot more strategically down the line. She's gonna stoop it up. And remember, I'm not a good person, so. I'm a bad person. But I'm not a good person. Even Amber told me, oh my god, I don't know if I told you this. We're sitting in the hammock and this is her whole spiel why she should stay and everything. And she's like, you know, if I'm. Like, what do you, she said that to my face, like, but she said that to my face, like, just because she's a good person doesn't mean I'm going to not vote for you. Who says that? People are so rude. If they live in this fucking fantasy land. I really hope Will's hosting the veto next week. I'm getting my hopes up. It's probably going to be nobody, huh? I would ask them if I'm a, a uh, honorary member of Chill Town. If you could be? <laughs> You're an idiot. Everyone in this world like, is. Hey, Chicken George was. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know if that's what you'd be proud of. <laughs> Jen probably is. Like, yeah. I really hope he is, though. I'd be so oh, excited. Yeah, I'd like to meet him. I've admired him since season two. He's been the best player that's ever played this game. Strategically, mm -hmm. while Janelle's been 
competitively. But he's won. No, I'm just saying, but she, competitively, she's rocked she's this good, house. But he's won. I know, but. I know. But I'm just saying, on a competitive standpoint, yeah. that's why, like, I really, really like to know. Thanks. It would be like Richard Ashton Thanks. Survivor. What do you mean? If I end up winning. Okay. No. Okay, Jess. You winning? Come on. I know, but you I don't, don't say it to you. No. If I end up winning. If anybody told you that if we end up in the final two, I would totally win. No. Them to combine I think that would be... I really do. I don't even think it would be fair. How would that not be fair? It'd just be kind of fucking weird, but having to give a speech why I should win and you giving a speech why you should win. Oh, oh. see, you find that easy. Yeah, that's, see, that's like so, that's no, so slanted. Like, what? No, you didn't, I didn't even get to speak. Think whatever you want to. I saw the look on to. your face. No, because, no, because we came in here separate. We came in here this whole entire game playing two entirely separate games. Period. We've been playing the same game for a while. No. We've been playing together, but we have not been playing the same yeah. game. Period. So. Oh, period. No, because you're like, no, it's just, whatever. I just, I don't agree with you, that's all. And if I take second place and I have $50,000, I'm more than content with that. So, that's my opinion. Really? Yeah. See, I just look at it like, I would rather not. What, because you're going to be mad at me if I beat you? No. Well, why no, do you say like that? I would just rather not. You're my daughter. I mean, when I'm supposed to give a, a speech on why they should give me the money over you. <laughs> oh, my game was better than your game. Well, just make it short and to the point. Oh. And I'll make mine I'll short make and to the point. I'll make you go first. No, because then you'll just be like, I'm not going to say anything bad about my daughter. You guys know how I feel. Vote with your heart. I, that, yeah, you could really hear me saying well, those words. I totally could see you going, I'm not going to say... Well, don't tell me dumb stuff. Just listen. He's telling me, like, you know, this is where you have to decide if you're playing for the three of us or playing for yourself. This is not, I was like, don't you dare ever tell me anything like that. Because and I just went off on him because of all people freaking trying to protect him in this house. I'm the only one who said, like, I would never put him up in this and that. And he's, like, telling me if I'm going to, like, play for the, for the three of us myself. I, oh, I wanted to slap him. But what I'm saying is, do you think we should shake his feathers a little or just tell him? Oh, I know he told me that. Mm -hmm. I'm freaking out.